Hello, Kerry. Welcome to our Six Simple Questions session. Uh, would you like to introduce yourself? Thank you. Uh, so my name's Kerry, Kerry Burgess from Cheshire Marketing. I, uh, I have a business called Cheshire Marketing and we help businesses increase their visibility in Cheshire. We do this with leaflet distribution, business to business and also the online Cheshire Business Directory. Great. So how did the Cheshire Business Directory start? Where did the idea come from and, you know, and your story, basically? Yes, I'll do, I'll do like a three minute story. Uh, so it all started um, uh, from selling children's books. So halfway through my degree, my plan was, uh, I was going to be a teacher, that was my aim, did a degree in early years, but halfway through my degree I had my son, finished my degree and I thought, do I really want to be a teacher? So what I did was sold all my uni books and I sold them really quick and then I thought, right, well, why don't I do a, a children's books business related to my degree? And then I started to order loads, of, so I went on wholesalers on Google and ordered hundreds of books. So. Each book was bought for a pound, but we'd sell it for like five pound. So you can see there's like four pound profit on each one. Or activity books are bought for 50p and we bought and we sold them for three pounds. So I thought, right, well, got all these books and you start selling people, started going to all them um, family events, um, family markets, toddler groups, took my son with me and started many, making profits straight away, which was good. So and then, I got, and then I start, decided to get some leaflets as well and also create my own Facebook groups. And then when I was at these events, I was like, oh, why don't I do my own events and make sure I advertise it and get loads of people and sell my books there. So I did my first handful craft fair, it was called. Yeah. And I got um, uh, businesses booked on to have stalls, which I use Facebook for. And then right, well, I thought, well, we've got to tell people about this event. So I did thousands of leaflets, uh, put an ad in the paper and used my Facebook groups. And then uh, on the on the day it came, loads of people came, which was great. And then that gave me the confidence then to do more family type of events. So we went on to do events like throughout Cheshire, we did outdoor events at town centres. We also did them in um, uh, Scotland, Nottingham and Essex. And each of these events brought loads of publicity. We'd be like in the paper all the time, which is what an example. So this has been the uh, uh, Wilmslow Express. So we, we used to have like the Mayor of Cheshire East come as well. And that got like loads of publicity, we, like got onto like the front page. Anything to do with the community, the papers want to know about it. Yes. So the radio, BBC Manchester Radio wanted to speak to us. George Osborne came, the MPs came out. Uh, we had like big businesses sponsored, like Orbit Development, Majestic Wines, Co-op. And it was really, really good. So all this free publicity and I was selling my books, which was my yeah. aim. So I did that for about four or five years. But after that point, I was exhausted. Complete burnout. Uh, each event required a lot of organisation. If you do an outdoor event, you've got the weather as well on top, and all negotiations with businesses and the PR, and then you have to get licences as well, to have a music licence as well. It was all, it was a lot of work involved. And I yeah. thought, do I want to do this going forward? And I was having my second son at that point. So I decided, well, for these events to be successful, it all came down to marketing. So I've developed these marketing skills over the years. So I thought, right, well, I'll rebrand after my second son was born, rebranded as Cheshire Marketing. Right. So, and the services were leaflet distribution, because I knew it worked, business to business as well. And also, and then the Cheshire Business Directory came a year later. So it's all about getting business's name out there and I've created That's all right. these groups and have grown over the years, some at 25,000, ones at 10. <laughs> LinkedIn's grown and business networking. So what I've done is I've come like a hub for businesses. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. yeah so fantastic. And you, and you, you're raising an entrepreneur as well, aren't you? Your son's in business yeah. as well. So. Yes, yeah, so in lockdown, um, uh, he's ten, and I thought, right, part of his homeschooling is hmm. um, uh, teaching him a little business. So we did yeah. uh, launch Samson Sweet Boxes just over lockdown, and we've sold over a hundred so far. Wow. So, Right. Yeah, that's over a thousand pound revenue from just selling some boxes. And then yeah. I've got businesses to sponsor it on top. Oh, wow. Uh, wow. Yeah. Well, good on him. That's just great. Yeah. And, uh, and, well, you haven't been to, you have been to a lunch, have you? Have you been to one lunch? Yeah, um, we do a few, yeah, yeah, two yeah. or three. So, um, so yeah, so, so at the lunch, we like to ask a personal question about each other. So, so this is that side of it now. And, um, I, 
any spare time. I don't think you've got any spare time. I don't have spare time, but I have been reading some books. <laughs> right. But um, have you got any hobbies or passions? Yes, I do. I do like watching a film when I get a chance. So I managed to watch one film in the last few weeks on Netflix. Um, yeah, so I like to, it's, it, watching a film gives me a complete break from reality. And when mm. the cinema's open, I do like to watch a film in the cinema. Yeah, yeah. Uh, but yeah. yeah. Nice. <laughs> and the other the other questions are probably going to be the same. The big podcast. Do you have time to listen to podcasts at all? No, but I've been listening to um, uh, the social media executive channel on YouTube. They're giving out right. loads of business advice at the minute, so I've been watching them. They're only like ten minutes long, so yeah, yeah, yeah when yeah. I get a chance. Yes, <laughs> yeah. But well, you did mention reading. So is there is there a book you'd like to recommend? Um, I've been reading uh, Rich Dad Poor Dad. That's a really good book. Somebody and else has mentioned that one to me, yeah. Yeah, and the second one, Cash Quandrant, his second book, uh, was really, really good. And I'm reading a dynam dynamic digital marketing book by Dawn McRuger. I'm not sure if you know her. Yeah. yeah. No, I don't, but uh, I'm going to have to get a book list going, I think. I'm going to have to re replay all these and put a list on of everybody who's recommended books. It made um, me think better in business, so, yeah, yeah really good books. Yeah, I'm, I'm doing El Carnegie's uh, How to Win Friends and Influence People at the moment. So oh, I'm right, yeah. To that. Gonna, so, uh, Will Kinchish keeps telling me I should have read it years back. But, uh, oh, and I've just ordered Will Kinchish's book as well. Oh, my it. goodness. I've, right. <laughs> I've got to order that. So that's, in the, that's on its way in the post. Yeah. Oh, I can't wait to tell him that. <laughs> Brilliant. And, and the final question is, have you got any words of wisdom? It doesn't have to be about lockdown as we're coming out of it. It can be about anything in particular. Uh, just don't give up. Never <laughs> give up. That's my motto. The last few months have been quite testing uh, homeschooling business and all that. So, yeah, and I've kept going and yeah so yeah that's my um well, you, you, you've maintained a fantastic profile over the whole thing because you know I, I i see you at regular meetings business network subs and all over the place and oh, LinkedIn. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah 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 i love linkedin and uh, i'm also crazy on facebook but it works it definitely, i'm getting <laughs> loads of new clients coming in loads of inquiries so you know yeah, yeah, yeah so yeah and, and that don't give up can also go on to the marketing side, which we were talking before we started recording. Yeah. It's so easy to think, oh, that, you know, don't do that. Well, that's how you're going to get business and how yeah. you're going to be noticed. Oh, so. yeah, they say standing out of your comfort zone. You yeah. Grow. So that's why I'm doing stuff like this. So, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Great. Well, thank you so much, Kerry. It's been, it's been absolutely fantastic. So, thank uh, you. Okay, thanks. Bye. <laughs>